guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on this Revolution Liquid Highlighters. I bought four. Um, I bought three from Superdrug because they were three for two. I bought the shades Luminous, uh, Liquid Luminous Gold, um, Liquid Champagne and Liquid Starlight. So they were three for two. They were £6 each and then I got one free. So I paid £12 for all three. I got the three lighter shades because I'm very fair myself. And then I got the Unicorn Elixir. Now the Unicorn Elixir wasn't available on the first day of release on Superdrug. It is available now, which is great. Um, but I... I tweeted um, Superdrug and I didn't really get a response back as to when they were going to have this in stock so I ordered it off Tan Beauty's website and I ordered it, I think I ordered it on the Wednesday and it arrived on Friday so it arrived pretty quickly. It arrived for me all together to do this um, review. Um, do you need to say that with Superdrug I collected them at store so I did not pay any shipping on the Makeup Revolution. I bought it from Tan Beauty's website which has all the Makeup Revolution brands, Sea of Freedom and all that lot and it cost me 2 99 for shipping. If you order over £30 it's free but I only wanted this one product so yes it cost me 8 99 for this one but if you buy the three together from Superdrug it cost me twenty. £12. Now the 3 for 2 is not always going to be on so I would, if you like these, I would grab them while you can. So I wanted to do this video not just because these are a hot product and everybody's saying well these are like the custom the custom effects drops and um, I also wanted to do these because this video because I've seen um, on Facebook quite a few people are saying different opinions on these. Now some people are saying the oily, some people are saying the watery, um, some people are saying they mixed it in with their foundation they look very glittery and other people said they just said they look dewy. Um, yeah, so um, there was a lot of mixed opinions on these, so I thought I would give them a go. So this is a first impressions on these today, and I will put some swatches in at the end. Now I'm going to swatch each one individually, I'm going to put it on the back of my hand and blend it out, but then I'm also going to put them side by side on my arms as well. There are also three other darker colours, so seven shades in total, but I didn't get those because, you know, they just won't suit my complexion, so these four, if you're very fair like me, these will suit you the best. So I'm actually wearing, I'm wearing liquid champagne. Can you actually tell on my, on my cheeks? I'm wearing it just up here. So from all the swatches that I've seen on um, Instagram, on Facebook, everything like, all the ones that have been doing the rounds, these actually look very blinding. So what I did was I put a drop of it on the back of my hand, you don't need a lot, and um, put it on the back of my hand, picked it up with one of my fingers and patted it on and I did build it up. In real life, um, it looks a little bit more, not intense, but you can see it more than you can, it is coming across on camera. So from seeing the swatches on Instagram and all that lot, to putting it on my face, I um, I was expecting more. I was expecting to be shining from, you know, the highlighter gods, and I don't think I am. So that is just one thing to know. I mean, maybe you could build it up and they will look a lot nicer, you know, but I, I feel like I did put a good amount on. Um, you could also probably use this to layer your highlight as well, and then you probably will be shining to the highlighter gods, but, um, so yeah, just one thing to note that on first impression I wasn't I wasn't overly impressed with the colour. So a lot of people have been saying um, online about this unicorn elixir that it's not as intense as they thought it was going to be. So if you just look at it, they come in this nice dropper, but it's not, I don't know, it kind of looks more sheer than I was expecting it to and if you just drop it I mean it does look quite nice but then when you blend it out it kind of loses it a little bit and it, I mean it does it is nice but it's just not as intense as it looks in the bottle to when you apply it like you'll only see the shift or any of the colour, like you can't really see it at some angles until you put the light on it. So something to bear in mind with the unicorn as well, um, that I, I was expecting more from this. I was expecting to be like, oh, and I don't think, you know, it really is. It's nice, but you know, you can you can get that else you can get that kind of glow from elsewhere. So 
it's not the be all and end all product that I think everybody was expecting. And I think that's maybe that everybody was expecting cover effects and they're not. Obviously, it's a cheaper brand. You know, they do dupe products, but at the end of the day, they're not going to use the same kind of ingredients. So I think these kind for me, these are kind of like a proceed with caution. I wouldn't go out and buy the whole range of them and expect, oh my God, I'm going to look amazing. I think you should only just buy one or two or maybe even three for two they'll probably suit your skin tone um so yeah that's my kind of thoughts on these i know it's only going to be a very short video and i've only really tried them once um but um yeah that's my kind of thoughts on it proceed with caution um you know they are not available in stores yet they are going to be in superdrug around the third week of September so it might be one of those where you might want to go into store and actually see for them yourself um, so yeah I will, I'm going to put some swatches in there now, you can make up your minds but I do think these have been hyped up a little bit more than they should be so thanks for watching my video and I will see you again shortly bye just want to jump back on here to show you these swatches of them all together on my arm and they do just look like this now I do realize they look absolutely amazing on here and you know I was kind of saying you know they don't look that great on my face and that is because when you see all these swatches of them on your arm they are actually very thick and they are unblended so they won't look like that on your face so I just wanted to put that out there I didn't just want to put the swatches on and then not explain that because yeah they do look absolutely amazing and, and I do yeah, you know, I do think they look really beautiful like this but they aren't going to look like that on your skin because I did put quite a big drop and the, they're not actually blended out because you wouldn't just drop it onto your face and then just leave it like that you know just a big patch so thanks for watching check out my other videos and I will see you again shortly bye